John Daniel Davidson is a senior correspondent at The Federalist, and he joins us tonight. John, this does seem like a turning point somehow, not just on the right, but also on the left, these events of the last two days, and there seems to be a new intensity um, on the left. Am I imagining that? No, you're not. And we do seem like we're at a turning point, but this has been coming down the pike for a number of years. I remember two years ago, we had the 150th anniversary of the Confederate surrender at Appomattox, and you had people in the mainstream media at that time calling for the desecration of Confederate graves, uh, not just tearing down statues, but digging up remains, removing them, you know, bulldozing over cemeteries. Uh, and this iconoclastic impulse is native to the left. This is what China's cultural revolution was all about. If you want to see where tearing down statues by mobs will get you, look at pictures of China's cultural revolution where they tore down statues, exactly right. temples, uh, you know, the, the whole thing, even stomping on them. But Mao did that, and the Khmer Rouge did that. And the Taliban did that in Afghanistan for political reasons. I mean, the, look, I'm not naturally, for whatever it's worth, not very sympathetic to the Confederacy. I'm an American, and I'm against insurrections, of period. So, but it's not Me about too. that. The people who are attacking these statues know nothing about history. They don't know who Robert E. Lee was. They don't know who Stonewall Jackson was. They're trying to delegitimize the U.S. government and the traditions of American society because they don't believe in them. I mean, th this is transactional. They're doing this to achieve a goal that has nothing to do with the Civil War. Yeah, that's right. And, and I think a lot of people uh, on the right, uh, conservatives on the right, who are saying, yes, maybe we should move these statues to a museum, miss the point. This is not about the Confederacy. Exactly. This is not about the Civil War. This is about political power. And it's about a small group of people on the left trying to exert outsized influence on American politics by following in the footsteps of Mao, of the armed thugs in the Weimar Republic, of the Taliban. This is a, you know, these are tactics that are well known. You start by tearing down statues and burning books, and eventually you go after people. One of the ironies of all of this, and it's been interesting to watch on a split screen, left and right fighting each other, horrifying, but also instructive. Yeah. One of the things I don't like about some of these right, white supremacist groups is it race is at the center of their worldview. And I don't want to live in a world where race is at the center of the worldview. But I see the same on the left. I see people with signs attacking white supremacy. or It's always about race for them as well. They seem every bit as race-obsessed and angry as the people they're fighting. But don't know well, acknowledge that for some reason. Th this is what happens with, white, uh, with identity politics. If you push identity politics, eventually you get around to identity politics for white people, which is a dangerous thing in a country yeah, exactly. that has a huge white majority. You know, and this is why the left has been sowing these seeds of what's happening now for a long time. Are they surprised that eventually some white people are going to say, yeah, let's do identity exactly. politics, and we're going to have white identity politics. It's all poisonous garbage. No, but that's ex this is the terminus. This is the end. What do you think happens when you force people to line up by their immutable characteristics, by race? You think you're not going to wind up with every group doing that? Of course you are. This is what identity politics looks like on left and right. Why does nobody make that point? And it's totally un-American, too. America is not about ethnicity. It it's not about national exactly. origin. It's about creed. And there's no place in the American constitutional system for identity politics, left or right. Plain and simple. Thank you for saying that. You'll probably be attacked as something for doing so, but I'm glad <laughs> yeah. you did. John, thank you.